Today we're doing an oil change on a 2016 Kia Sportage. Right there is a drain plug. Right here. Trying to get this oriented. Right there is your drain plug. 17 millimeter. And up here, that blue thing. That's your old filter. So not really too well, number one for first step, whatever you want to say. Crack the oil pan, plug loose. Seventeen millimeter. <clears throat> Now, here's the tool, drain, drain plug pro, link in the description, just get it loose with a ratchet, wrench, whatever, and uh, unscrew it like you normally would turn it, because this has flex hose, and it'll unscrew the hole plug for you and hold on to it, because it's magnetic. Simply get your old or get your oil plug off the tool. Look for you can do as much drain as you want with this. Do your own. However long you want to let it drain to a drip, whatever. Not me. I'm trying to get this filter loose, of course. The filter's a little snug too. Imagine that. I think it was done at the dealer last. Looks like a Kia filter. It's going to be stupid tight, like the oil plug was. I also got a can of, you know who, Mr. Brake Cleaner. Clean up a little bit of mess to make. There, we got enough out, I think. Yeah, I'm not crazy about Kia's oil plugs. Either either the plug or the pan. They're always weird. So we're running back down. Torque wrench. Swap it out. Yeah, sometimes these plugs are funky. Sometimes you got rats in the whole way. Sometimes you'll do what that just did. Ratchet so far, then turn by hand, then got ratchet again. Torque to 30 foot pounds. Okay, now we take your. You got a little six inch extension here. This thing, it's a three fingered claw thing with the long ratchet. Get it up on there. Turn the ratchet to off. Get it moving. 
once you get her moving, I should be able to do it by hand. Yep. Okay, now I gotta move it so we don't get oil. Well, we don't want to get oil. Screw it, go gently, go slow. It's start peeing oil. Like so. Get your new filter. I'm using a Fram. The Fram number is PH 9688. PH 9688. Get some oil off to somewhere. Lube the gasket. You can expose it don't matter to me. I've never had an issue you can old oil. As long as you use oil. So it's older new. The more you unscrew it, the quicker it's gonna drain. Or the more more it's gonna drain. I usually get a rag. If you really want to do this the proper way, I guess, you can let the oil drip to a drip out of the plug, out of the pan, and it'll get the majority of it out. So when you crack the oil loose, oil filter loose, there'll be very little that comes out, less than this. I mean, there's, there's still a good bit of oil in the filter. I just want to get this done because I want to get out of these clothes. <laughs> I want to chillax. I'm tired. It's a Kia. Hyundai, Kia, it's all the same. Make sure there's no gasket up there, which there is not. You can see that. Maybe. Throw that up. New filter up there. I get it to where it's snug and Couple extra turns to us snugger. Call it a day. Okay, now comes the easy part of filling the oil. Now, there's a couple ways you can see how much oil capacity or how much your car's oil capacity is. You can either look online, look in the owner's manual, call a parts store, whatever you want to do. Personally, I use that. There's a website called Ann's Oil. I'll show you what it looks like. All you do here, you type in your make and model of your vehicle. This is a 2016 Kia. Sportage. We're not the model for this. Now the motor. If you don't know where to find your motor size, you can look. Sometimes the motors say directly. If not, there's this little sticker right here. And ours is a 2.4. If you look right there, where my finger is. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah. There's 2.4. It'll that's what how you know it'll say a L or NP or usually look for a group and it'll tell you what the motor size is. Then go back to our app over here. Well, it's, a, it's just a website. We select the proper engine, 2.4, and we say find it. Now this will give you their parts what kind of oil they recommend, the stuff they sell and also the most important thing the oil viscosities, weight which is 520, 530, 520 preferred 
above zero degrees, 1030 capacity, five quarts, 5.1, but I always go just five. I have one tenth of a quart and I mean squat. And that also gives the oil plug torque. Which so this one is 25 to 32. I torqued it at 30 foot pounds. Now we get our oil, which is conveniently right here. And okay, now we're gonna fill her up. Just gonna dump all this oil in there. Make sure your funnel's in the oil hole. And if you don't know what kind of oil viscosity you take, it says usually it says on the cap on a new colors. But like I said, you can use that AMS oil website too if you don't know. And a tip with these, these big five quart jugs, turn them sideways. That way they'll, they won't gurgle like it did. And it'll come out a little faster. Because you're, you're letting air get in there and oil come out at the same time. A, a quart of oil has the same. You're not supposed to pour it. I'll show you here in a sec. How entertaining to watch oil flow out of a jug to a funnel to a motor. Hey, Yahoo. And I save these jugs only for the fact that when I come time to empty my catch pans, I got a reliable way to transport it to the dump facility without spilling. clean rag, put the funnel under there like so, there's no oil on the car, otherwise you'll hear about it, I don't feel like hearing about it, and start it up, now that it's running, with the flashlight, check underneath, and it rips, we're good. That was a good thing, no drips. Now I will check it when I get done, after I get done doing the air filter. The air filter in this thing is crap. And uh, it's not hard to change. But I will tell you this, if you have time to wait, get it offline. Trying to get the camera set up. Now I'm going to change the air filter. And it is crap. Dirt. Very, very dirty. Um, if you have the time to wait, or get your air filter offline, it's going to save you quite a chunk of change. Okay, this is the new one. See how nice and white that is. Okay. Um, at Walmart, this oil air filter was $25. On Amazon, this air filter was like nine bucks. And here is the old air filter. It doesn't look that bad on camera, probably because of the light. But comparison, it's probably hard to tell. But in real life, they're night and day. Plus, there's crap stuck in there. There's four, four little clips. You undo, pop it up, pop it out, done. Like, take, like, there's a big difference. There's a big difference right now. Old, new, old, new, old, new. Wow. This, this dealership we bought it from, I don't want to say their name. I'll ridicule them on Facebook, but I mean, seriously. What the hell was it? AB Kia, out of Benwood, West Virginia. Y'all suck. Seriously. I shouldn't have to change an oil, change the air filter, a month after having the vehicle. Come on. 
This should have been done before we bought the damn thing. Got one word for you guys. So anywho, the clips I was talking about, ready to go. There's one down there. One here. All right. One here. Have like collect connectors in the way. And one right there. Four little clips. Let's put filter back in. While you're doing a little change for yourself, check your uh, tire pressures. It's in a door jam on your driver's side. It looks like this. All that information right there. The top two are the ones for the car. The bottom one's for the spare. It's either here on the door jam or on the driver's door itself in the States. So just a little FYI. And check your washer fluid and all the rest of your fluids. If you need something, make sure you get the right fluid for the right type of vehicle. I know Hondas are specific to certain stuff. I don't think Kias are. So, and if you have to write an oil change sticker out, make sure you do that too. Like every 3,000 miles or whatever. Okay, that's the end of the video.